What I have today is my original barrel from the cadet there and then the slide with the uh, new barrel already installed and a Lyman bore scope that I'm going to show the uh, what this old barrel looks like first and then I'm going to show you what the uh, new barrel looks like. Now for the bore scope screen what I've done, I've got a second camera set up that's focused just on that screen. And uh, I'm going to take maybe some stills too, but for now I'm just going to videotape the screen. And I'm going to try to move this thing slowly, but it's hard to do. And I'm going to start at the chamber end of the old barrel which is right there. And so this is the old barrel. And I'm, I'm basically just going to pull this thing forward a little bit and let it sit. If I, if I do it while it's moving, it's just too hard to see what's there. So what we've got is the chamber. And you can see it's pretty rough. And there's, of course, even some scratches and stuff in it. But mainly... It just looks rough to the eye. Now, the magnification on this thing is significant, so I'm not sure. This doesn't look rough when you look down the barrel, but when you look perpendicular to the barrel, it looks rough. And then, starting right in this area, you'll... Let me move out just a little more. There we go. That's the start. So the... the this is where the carbon starts building up. It's right here, a little bit toward the, uh, the breach from the, um, from the lands. And you can see it's dark. And I cleaned the barrel, but I don't know how well I cleaned it. I don't know what I'm looking at here, really, to be honest with you. But you can see there's still some black specks in there, and it's discolored. And then there's this band right here that's right at the end of the shell, I think. And that's where when the, when the round goes off, you get some blast back. And the carbon builds up there, and that's what was slowing down the extractor, extraction of the casing. So if you move up towards the lands and this is kind of the start of the lands right here you can you'll see that it's it's whoops i missed it let me go back a little bit right there is the start of the lands and they're rough the edges are pretty smooth and there's no big chunks of metal or anything in here. And that, that's my problem. I don't know how bad this barrel is. After I've compared it to the new barrel, I've decided this barrel is not that bad. It's just the chamber's rough. So I'm going to go ahead and follow this one uh, section of barrel straight on out. And you can see there's all kinds of scratches and stuff in it but there's no big chunks missing there's no sections of the of the uh, rifling missing and it's you know it's got marks in it and a lot of them are horizontal so you can kind of see here what all we got but the barrel's clean for once. And to be honest, I, I didn't bore scope it before I cleaned it because I didn't want to mess up my new bore scope. And this scope is really good. I was surprised. It, uh, it's hard to make a uh, video from the output other than setting up a video camera and watching it. 
but it'll take stills, but the still JPEGs are small. So they're not very high resolution. I can't remember what they are, 320s or something like that. So anyway, keep traveling out of the barrel and the rifling's worn, I think, but the barrel's not chunky or anything. And I think really the main problem is right at the chamber end. Now, we're out near the end of the barrel now, and you can start seeing it's, it's pretty rough again. So let me hold right there for a second. And then here's the end of the barrel. And you can see it's still got the machine in. Of course it should, because there's nothing there. There's a little carbon right there on that land. And so I rotate this, you can see, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going around the barrel. But you can see there's no real damage at the crown or anything like that, at least that I can see. Now, David sees this at CGW and says, Joe, you don't know what you're looking at. I'm going to say, David, you're right, so tell me what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at an old barrel. So I'm going to make one more pass back down through the barrel. And I'll stop here periodically, but it all looks about the same. If you go around 360 degrees, all the rifling looks about the same. It looks rough when you look at it through a borescope. It looks shiny and perfect if you look down the barrel. So we're approaching the chamber now. There we go. There's the end of the uh, and then dang it, I jumped past it, but there's there's the chamber right there. And oops, there's the carbon ring. That's where the carbon ring starts and where the, the shell casing gets stuck. So and then this looks rough here. That's the chamber. And I don't know what to tell you. It looks rough. Okay, so that's the old barrel. Now I'm going to show you the new barrel after 200 rounds. So we look at the end of the barrel. Of course, it's smooth as it can be. Now there's probably going to be some threads from the patches that will show up in this video. And to me, the... Uh, rifling looks deeper on this barrel. So I'm going to go slowly down the barrel and you can see it's not perfectly shiny smooth but it's not rough. It's got what looks like tiny 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 uh, imperfections but uh, you know this is a production barrel. This is not a lapped, hand lapped barrel. So let me hold that for a second. Then going on traveling down the barrel, I started at the muzzle end. I'm going toward the chamber. Here we go. There's some dust right there, the threads. But the the rifling and the bore just looks great. It's just beautiful. And I don't know what a match barrel looks like. I don't know if a match barrel is smoother than this. I just don't know. I know that for a 22 with lead bullets, it can't be a big deal. But what do I know? I just shoot them. Okay, so we're within half an inch or so of the end of the rifling and the start of the chamber. And we should be coming up pretty quick. There we go. Now, what you're going to see, you're going to see 
right there where that rifling, where the reamer stopped, and the reamer has some nasty cuts, okay? Again, the magnification is terrific on this thing. So, yeah, it's not pretty, and it's not filled in with lead yet, but this barrel shoots fine. So I'm not going to worry about it. There's some rough spots in here from the ramer, and the bullet moves a little bit. It doesn't make any difference. There's the start of the carbon buildup right there. That's what I couldn't get out, just cleaning it after a few rounds. And we go back into the chamber. The chamber is certainly not corroded and it has some machining marks in it, but it is smooth as it can be. And that's why this one doesn't have any casing extraction problems is that this uh, chamber is smooth. And if I'll clean the stupid gun, this ring here won't build up. I won't let it build up. Been there, done that. So I'm gonna make sure that that carbon ring right there doesn't get too bad. I'm gonna clean that thing probably every time I shoot it now. And then I'm thinking that the lead, probably not gonna fill up these grooves here and I'm not gonna worry about it this is already smoothed out. I looked at this barrel when it was new, and this was a lot rougher right in this area here and where the reamer cuts were. And the reamer cuts have already filled in some with lead. So this is all, to me, looks good. So I'm gonna call this barrel good for right now, and uh, I hope this has been helpful. That's all I can say. So. Go shoot your guns.